is going on, everyone? Thank you guys for seeing the channel. My name is Robert Richie. And I'm Ryan. <laughs> and that's Ryan. If you guys are new to my channel, just know I post videos every single day, so make sure to click that like and subscribe button. And uh, today's been more like a vlog, so <laughs> uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's get started. Here is Ryan. He's going to be feeding Jombie again. Hopefully, he doesn't get bit this time. As you guys saw, I think it was like two days ago. So he's giving him some roaches. Boom. Just take him down. That was a smaller one, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't like to get him too big. Of Just taking it down quicker now. Feed him quantity. Give him. You don't want to give him a bigger one? Uh, Look at that. He's so like anything that moves. Ooh. Oh, let let Steve's us th let us know if you think he's getting bigger. Can you see a difference, Ryan? No, I can't either. But he's he's not gonna I'm not gonna make him grow super fast. I just want him to. Well, he should know. be growing a couple inches a month, right? Uh, an inch or two, but that's not the goal. The goal is just to I'm gonna start getting him turkey and all that fun stuff. Boom. But I know he likes his roaches, so I, I have to feed him his roaches. Look how cool he looks. I hope he attacks the camera. <laughs> I don't think he will. It doesn't move fast enough. He's so cool. We gotta get him a girlfriend. Yeah, right. Want a bigger one? Yeah, it's caught on your side of your face. No! Get it. There you go. Alright guys, so now we are back upstairs and uh, I want to show you guys a ball python that I love very much. I do not give a lot of attention on the videos I do. This is a sugar bee ball python. It's so beautiful looking. Almost all white has that line going down the back right there with the little spots. It's absolutely beautiful looking. Check out the eye color. She's going and she has shed on her right now that I need to get off. Um, so I apologize for that, but check out the eye color on that. That is absolutely insane, beautiful looking. I love this girl so much. I'm actually gonna be doing a feeding on her um, it's really soon on this on the next clip on this video. So for those who don't want to see it, we'll be live feeding. So if you guys don't want to see it, make sure you guys just fast forward ahead or stop watching now. But um, still, beautiful looking animal, and so I'm gonna give her a pretty good meal. So hope you guys are stay tuned for that. All right, guys. So we're feeding the sugar bee right now. Let's see if he takes his meal. All right, guys. So it is actually current day, and uh, it's because we left yesterday for super early. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine yesterday's videos and today's videos and put into one whole video. So this is gonna be a super long video. So I hope you guys are excited for it. Um, and I'm gonna be posting this later tonight. That way, I'm just still on schedule posting daily uh, for you guys. Uh, but today, we're gonna be just checking out some cool snakes, and I got some cleaning to do. So uh, let's jump right into the video. All right, guys. And you know, usually I don't uh, show a lot of boa. So in this video, I'm gonna show animals that I don't normally show. Like I showed you guys the sugar bee. This is a um, sharp hypo boa. Um, so sharp, sharp is a line of albino. Um, and it just looks absolutely stunning. Now, I had this girl, so she was probably about this big, so she's grown quite a bit. Um, next year is going to be when she uh, breeds for us, and hopefully we'll get some cool little sharp babies. Uh, she's absolutely beautiful looking. Um, and what Hypo does, Hypo changes the color, especially in the tail. So a uh, regular sharp won't have this type of coloring to it, but still a beautiful looking animal. Um, all my... Um, sharp albinos are relatively whew, it's a windy outside so I have the window open so it's moving everything around um, but my sharp albinos are not normal like usually are all this tame and because I work with them a whole bunch because I just find them very fascinating um, but still they're just a beautiful looking animal and uh, they're super cool and the one thing I really like about them is about their eyes they have a different color eye than the um, like albino ball python too. This guy is not gonna let me show it to you. Um, so it's like a candy pink. It's like super, 
uh, it's pretty cool. It's here. Let me see if I can get it for you guys. I don't know if you guys saw, it, but he's a beautiful looking animal, or she is, and uh, we're gonna make some pretty cool sharp looking babies with this stuff. It's absolutely insane looking. All right, guys. So I'm holding my hand here. I've shown her a couple times, but not quite enough on the videos because she's very beautiful. Um, this is a banana ultra male possible calico, which I'm really hoping for. She has the calico in there. Um, I'll be able to tell once I breed her out, and if I see calicos, then I know I got a calico. Um, but it'd be super cool, and I have super awesome projects for her. I'm not gonna say what they are, but you know, once I get the offspring, obviously I'll tell you guys what they are. Um, but it's gonna be super cool. We're gonna be doing a bunch of ultra male stuff, and you know, someone left a comment. You know, uh, it was either yesterday or the day before that ultra males are underrated, and they really are. They're super underrated uh, ball pythons, and uh, we're gonna do some pretty cool stuff with them that I think no one's ever seen before. So I'll be super excited for that, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. But be very awesome to make some super cool ultra male stuff all right guys so here is another boa that i i don't think i've ever shown on the videos this is actually a roswell and it's absolutely beautiful check out the tail pattern and just the dark colors that go into it that's absolutely stunning looking it has all those black polka dots and uh just amazing check out the belly the belly is super sick Look at that, all the black little speckles. That is absolutely stunning looking. Um, I believe this is a male. Yeah, it's a male. So he's almost ready for breeding. And uh, we're gonna do some super cool stuff with this guy as well. Um, he's probably actually already of size of breed, but just super cool. Um, I don't show a lot of boas. You know, boas aren't really my thing. I think they're awesome, don't get me wrong. I think they're really cool. It's just I'm more of a ball python guy. Um, and I actually start wanting to get into the tree stuff, so like the green tree pythons, um, the basins, the, all that awesome stuff I really want to get in. Basins are super expensive, but that's something I really want to jump into. Um, just because I think they're cool and they're super unique, you know. Um, and people really love stuff, stuff that pop with color, and I do too. Uh, but right now we're doing mostly boas, and I really don't show them because I'm more of the ball python guy, so a lot of my channel is ball pythons. But, you know, boas are super cool too, and you get some absolutely awesome patterns like that um and there's so many morphs into the boas um it's just super cool all right guys so a snake i don't normally show on this uh, channel is uh definitely king snakes now we do have a couple of them this is the gray banded king snakes that we actually had um at the show and i actually put a video on them probably about a month and a half ago they're still doing great eating like champs i just love their heads check out their heads if they can if it will focus on them it just has they pretty much so they're completely gray but the nose is like this little black um, and it absolutely looks awesome I love their head um, they have like the diamond head which is super awesome looking but they're just beautiful looking animals and uh, I'm honestly planning on breeding these guys because uh, they actually stay relatively small they don't get big at all so uh, hopefully we can make some really cool babies with these. I've never done king snakes before, so that would be really cool. I know they breed around spring, um, but they're absolutely awesome looking. Um, I, saw, I saw this one breeder um, at the show, and it was absolutely amazing. He had, it was, so you see these bands right here? You know, that's why they called the banded, gray banded. Um, they were pretty much gray like this, but the bands were probably about that thick, and they were like full orange, and they looked super awesome. So that's something that I would definitely want to get into. Um, so I'm gonna move on to this other king snake. I have um, super awesome. This is a San Luis granite, and this is my female right here. And check out the colors on that. Now I've had these before, um, but they're just super cool looking. Check them out. Um, I get a lot of people who look at these at the show, but no one wants them, and I don't know why, because they're super amazing and super, super beautiful looking. Check it out. They are so cool. Um, these guys are champs when it comes to eating, and they're just absolutely stunning. Um, these guys, you know, like I said, those other gray bands I was showing you, they have a different head uh, than these guys. You see how these guys are more like, goes with the body? Those ones are like more of a diamond, almost like a python head or even like a viper head so it's, it's this is actually but this the coloring on this one's absolutely gorgeous looking and then the belly right here that's absolutely stunning um 
I don't know. I might do uh, maybe a couple kings. I'm not big on colubrids either. This is more of my brother stuff, but um, it's pretty sick looking. All right, guys. So I'm holding my hand here is a shatter ball python. Now, when you mix this with other morphs, it's totally just gonna make the morph look so different. It's pretty much gonna shatter it. It's gonna change it up so much. It's gonna funk it up really, really good. Um, I'm planning on breeding. This is a female. Now, the only thing that sucks about her is that she is a mice eater meaning she won't eat, not eat rats and she you can tell she's a pretty big ball python so i have to feed her about 10 mice a week just to keep her body weight up there um and the guy i actually got her from did not tell me she was a mice eater so she lost a lot of weight because i could not figure out why she wasn't eating i had done pre-kill frozen thaw and live and she wasn't taking the rats and then all of a sudden you know my pops he threw in a adult mouse and she took the, the meal so i was just like okay they're mice eater um, we also have a super pastel vanilla it's also a mouse eater and we just have to keep feeding her mice so we give them about 10 mice a week and you can tell she's gaining all her weight back she's growing and then some um, but i'm going to breathe this to a banana because the banana shatters look absolutely gorgeous they pretty much have the banana pattern a little bit different because you know it's shatter and then it's going to have the purple tint to it it looks amazing and she's doing so good right now her temperament's amazing her you can see she's getting fat um and she's pretty close to weight last time i weighed her she was uh well the, when i started feeding her she was a thousand grams and then when i weighed her she was 1200 so she's almost there she's gonna go a little later this year because i want her to be a weight but we're gonna make some pretty cool babies with her and i hope you guys stay tuned for that. all right guys so we just left the shop and we are heading home and this time i'm actually gonna film at my house i always say i'm going to i never do it but i am and we got, we're at the bank right now, or the little thing at the bank, and she's doing her stuff. But um, yeah, but, but we're gonna go home right now. I will record some stuff, and I hope you guys stay tuned. So uh, yeah, let's pick us up at the house. We're at home right now. <laughs> what is this for right now? Why are you reporting me? Huh? <laughs> what is this for right now? Sausage party? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Say hi, Savannah. I'm eating. Well, I told them I was going to record today. Okay. Well, not my oh my god, Ew, Lauren. I've never seen someone struggle so much making hot dogs. <laughs> Sorry. I'm eating. They're watching 13 Reasons Why back there. So I have to talk pretty quiet. <laughs> right, guys, that is all it for that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I won't be posting a video tomorrow. It will be the following day. So pretty sadly, my streak is ending. But after that, I will be posting daily again. I promise, just taking a day break. Um, but I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, please like, please subscribe. See you guys the next day with another video. Take care.